Alright, in this short little video, I'm just going to be showing you guys a few updates. So I had to seal up the uh, cracky method bucket a little better. Um, I was getting a little bit too much rain in the bucket, so um, here you can see I'm just giving it a test. Alright, so I got the uh, bucket back in the ground. Um, got it covered back up. Um, as you can see, I did have to uh, prune the end of these uh, branches because... They were laying on the tarp, and I don't want the uh, bacteria from the mud or the dirt uh, splashing up on the leaves and getting the uh, plant sick. So I want to show an update on this uh, cherry tomato plant. It has gotten a lot of new growth. This is a week and a half old. Get a peek at this uh, root system. It's looking pretty good. Not too big yet but they're uh, they're getting there especially for a week and a half being in the system another update on this uh, cherry tomato plant I just put it in a three gallon bucket and um, I'm actually trying something new I put this larger air pump in here um, which has two hoses, so I actually have um, two air stones in this three gallon bucket. Which I'll probably move this plant to a five gallon bucket once it, the root system gets a little bigger. But for now, I like to uh, just keep them like that when they're small. There's no reason to be using extra nutrients, you know, when the root system is not that big yet. So um, here's an update on this, and I'm about to cut the suckers off. For the first time, we've got a, one here and one on the other side and a couple up here. So, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting some little cherry tomatoes soon. Um, this is my first time growing a cherry tomato plant, so I will keep you guys updated. So last night I went ahead and uh, harvested the basil for the second time. And um, it normally takes about about two to three weeks um, for every harvest. Um, so as you can see, it's cut down all the way down. And each stem has at least one uh, shoot coming up from it. So this should grow back in nice and full. So this is the third uh, growth from these plants. Um, I know a lot of people would just cut the plants down and start over, but I seem to have uh, better success this way. Um, no, you know, the fact that the uh, roots are so developed, so this little bit of growth has, as you can see, all of those roots to support the plant, so it'll be back up and big in no time.